I read, folks. It's me, your Uncle Chaz. It's finally happening. After 25 years, we're getting a sequel to Monkey Island. It's going to be helmed by Ron Gilbert himself, and it's coming out this year. Now I know what you're thinking. Chaz, we've had Monkey Island sequels, and, well, mm, no, no, you get out of here. Scram! Now the announcement has reminded me of a story. And while The Secret of Monkey Island is a story of piracy, love, cannibals, voodoo, zombie pirates, my story is about a fish. Released in 1990 and designed by Ron Gilbert, Dave Grossman and Tim Schafer, The Secret of Monkey Island is a point and click adventure where the player plays Guybrush Threepwood, a young man who desperately wants to be a mighty pirate. Now thankfully, the first chappy that you find actually helps you in this quest. He tells you that you need to go and speak to the three pirate leaders who are in the SCUM bar. Now as a quick little side note, SCUM is an acronym. It stands for Script Creation Utility for Maniac Mansion. And that is the engine that Lucas Games did use for a lot of their games. Such as Maniac Mansion, Secret of Monkey Island, Day of the Tentacle, Full Throttle. There's, a, there's quite a few of them. So now that we're given a goal, we make our way down to the scum bar. And yep, sure enough, full of pirates, full of scoundrels, maybe a scallywag or two. We meet the wonderfully named Mancomb Seepgood, who mocks us for a little bit for having such a ridiculous name, and then sends us on through to meet the pirate leaders. Now obviously six-year-old me, in the uh, year of, what well, we're talking, roughly 1997-ish, didn't have this remastered version of the game to play. No, 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 the version that I played looked like this, which is a really nice feature that they put into the remaster of the game so that you can flick backwards and forwards between how the old and new graphics look. Also, just because I think my other half would probably kill me if I didn't mention this, there is a dog in The Secret of Monkey Island. There are several dogs. This dog speaks. You can have a little conversation with him, but unfortunately, you cannot pet the dog. Now isn't that just bloody adorable? Continuing on, we finally come across our three pirate leaders. Now, they're far more interested in drinking than they are helping us, which, uh, I mean, I can kind of understand, I'm not gonna lie. But after hounding them a bit, they finally give us our three quests. The quest of thievery, the quest of swordplay, and, using their words, not mine, the quest of treasure huntery. Now, at this point, we can actually ask them for a few hints, and for the most part, they are pretty helpful. However, I have played this game before. I require no hints. We move on. Now at this point, the game does open up a bit. We've been given three quests. These are three different paths that we can take. We can take them in any order that we want. As you can see from looking at the map, there are several lights. These are the places that we can currently go and visit. However, there is one light that we are really interested in. Well, it's several lights, but there's one point on the map that we are currently interested in for the purposes of this story. And just before those lights, you'll see that I'm currently moused over a bridge. And at that bridge is where my hell started as a child. Say hello to the troll. Now let me tell you, six-year-old me was not ready for this. Now I'm sure that we've all seen enough media to know that if there's a troll and there's a bridge, there is a toll that must be paid. You must pay the troll toll, as it were. Insert it's always sunny reference here. And because this is a LucasArts adventure game, the troll doesn't want money. He wants something. Specifically, he wants something that will attract attention, but have no real importance. And I'm going to be honest, that's a lot of items in this game. Famously, one of the items that you get and use in this game is a rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle, which to me seems like it would attract attention, but is also not really important. But according to the troll, no, that's not allowed. And then to make matters worse, the guy says to you that he's, you're going to get three chances and after that, he's going to eat you. Which, you know, when you're six, you've spent an hour and a half getting to this point. You don't really understand what's going on, but you know that this fella is going to eat you if you get the puzzle wrong three times. is scary. It's worrying. You don't want to have to go back through this. Of course, if I had have just tried, I'd know that he doesn't actually eat you. The game just carries on. You could have just experimented by throwing things at him and seeing what stuck, but no. So what does he want? Well, he wants a fish. The same fish that I showed you at the start. Because that fish is a red fish. Specifically, 
It is a herring. It is a red herring, which now that I'm an adult, or even, you know, three, maybe four years after I'd first played this game, I understand that. It's a funny joke. As a child, I didn't know what a red herring was. So I'd maybe try the meat that I'd found in the kitchen earlier. I'd try the rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle that I'd taken from the voodoo lady's place. He didn't want those. He wanted the fish. I didn't even know the fish was a pick up thing, and I will show you why now. You see, the, the fish can be found very, very early on. It is in the scum bar. You just need to go into the kitchen. How'd you get into the kitchen? Well, you'd, you open the door, the chef says, no, you can't come back here. The chef then leaves to go and serve some customers, and while he's off screen, you just walk in. So you strolls yourself into the kitchen, and there, just outside the kitchen, lying on the dock, is a fish, and that fish is being pecked at by a seagull, and I understand that you can mouse over it and interact with it, and Guybrush won't be able to pick it up because the seagull is, is pecking away. And coming from a northern town in England, I know that if you try and get between a seagull and its food, you're liable to lose a few fingers. But this game, for the most part, is a pixel hunt game. You mouse over the environment until you find something you can interact with, and then you use your verbs to interact with it. So why is this the solution to getting rid of the seagull? That's right. You have to step on an unmarked piece of the dock. Not once, not twice, but three times, so that seagull buggers off for long enough that you can go and pick the fish up before it lands again. Now, it's been a few years since I last played The Secret of Monkey Island, but I can't think of a single other section of this game that requires you to just step somewhere with no hint, no clue, nothing and you know what the real kicker is about this puzzle it's it's not the fact that i was just too young and stupid to actually figure it out it's that after having spent hours weekend after weekend sat at my uncle's computer trying to figure out this puzzle he finally told me how to do it and what does the troll do Bastard. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like and subscribe. Cha-ching!